So today I'm going to tear down this uh, moving head light fixture. On the front it has a 3 pin DMX inputs and outputs and on the other side it has uh, four seven segment displays with four buttons. Strangely enough a power cord is directly connected it doesn't have a, a IEC connector like um, most moving heads do or actually most lighting fixtures do. So the watch light's lens is about 13 centimeters in diameter and it's not really focused, I think they call it a Fresnel lens or something. Looking at the first mechanism it only has a shutter, although it does have the mounting points for other parts but on, this, uh, on the watch light only the shutter mechanism is mounted. Looking down, it has two glass color wheels that can turn independently. And other than that, it is exactly the same as this unit. Just something interesting to note, the wash light is actually not very well balanced. If you push it and you leave it, the bottom part is a lot heavier and it moves downwards. This is maybe due to the fact that it isn't mounted with motors and stuff like the spotlight is. The spotlight is uh, very well balanced and it takes minimum effort to move them and it more or less stays in place wherever you put it. Having the head balanced makes it easier for the motor to move the entire mechanism and it reduces strain on the motor and the electronics itself. Both units use these uh, capacitors to ignite their bulbs. And these units are pretty much the same, except for the fact that these, the spot has more motors and stuff inside of it. They use exactly the same fan, just 220 millimeter fans. This fan needs to be replaced because it's not spinning properly. But these units both use the same bulb, uh, HMI575 bulb, more or less, or 575HR bulb from Philips. Okay, so this is the inside of the lamp module. This is the arc lamp, the gas discharge um, 575 lamp. Fortunately, I'm not that familiar with these lamps. Uh, at the back it has a reflector, it's a piece of solid aluminium and then two lenses in front and a temperature cutout sensor thing uh, probably cuts out the power to the bulb if it overheats and this is the same on both the wash and the spotlight bottle Okay. Channel 1 is the dimmer, channel 2 is the strobe function. At 0 it doesn't strobe and at full power it's uh, full on. Uh, channel 2 needs to be completely, needs to have some value for it to actually do something. This is channel 1. Channel 1 is 50%, 100%, and channel 2. I'm just going to leave it full on. Channel 3 is the one color wheel. There's orange, 
cyan, magenta, green, blue, yellow, red. And but if you put it to the top, it just cycles through the one color wheel. And the bottom is white. Channel four is the other color wheel. Red, yellow, blue, green, magenta, cyan, orange. And at the top it also just uh, cycles through. Channel 5 is the pan. As you can see it uh, travels the entire distance that the fixture can. Uh, channel 6 is a uh, tilt. Uh, just to give you an idea of how fast it rotates, here's a quick example. The fade is set to zero, set to full. Okay. Channel 7 is maybe a bit difficult to see, but that is a pan fine. So fine adjustments and uh, channel 8 is for fine tilt adjustments. Channel 9 does absolutely nothing. Channel 10... Channel 10 orders the fixture to reset. It takes a few seconds. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos like this please subscribe. Thank you, enjoy your day.